you're welcome to dummy fashion home online class and our design for today is a gathered loop to bank cap and on your screen right now are the materials we'll be using for this design so to start this design you pick up your fabric here i use a sewing ray fabric so you fold this into two to measure your head circumference here this cap will be having a backdrop so the head circumference there is 23 inches 23 divided by 2 11 and a half 12 inches allowance and extra 2 inches for backdrop this backdrop depends on how you want it to fall it can be one inch it can be one inch and it can be two inches so here i'm using two inches that's why i'm having 14 inches in all then the length as well i have 14 inches you can make use of 13 or 14 inches but here i have 14 inches for the length as well So this particular measurement will be cutting this in two places we'll be having this measurement in two places that is 28 by 14 inches in two places because this cap will be lined this material is very light so i'll be lining the cap so here is our band so you fold your band into two also towards the stretch to get the air circumference then this band, the backdrop will not have effect on this band. So this band, I will be cutting out the head circumference divided by 2 plus half inch allowance. That's why I'm having 12, the length of 4 inches. Then for the ruffled loop, so you pick up your material and cut out the length 8 inches. This material is a bit pleated as well it's giving me another measurement this is eight inches i cut out eight eight inches by 35 inches eight by 35 inches so this measurement depends on how full and how gathered you want the loop to be you can make it 40 and if you don't have much material you can even reduce it to like 30 so here i'm making use of 35 inches so you pick up your band fold it to two and mark the center then you pick up the base as well and mark the center then after this you place your base on your working surface with the right side facing you the right side will be facing up then you place your band on it the band the right side will be as you are folding it into two the right side will be outward while the wrong side will be inside then you place it to match the midpoint of the base so you know the band is shorter than the base so there will still be extra allowance at the edges of the uh, base then you pick the second base and cover it up like this this time around the right side will be facing the band will be facing down so the wrong side will be facing up and after that you pin this together to secure the three material together and after this take this to the same machine you see the upper part and the lower part while you leave the two sides open so after sewing it sound I've, I've turned this out this is what I have you can see this is the other side so you can choose to pick any side as the right side or the wrong side so you fold your material into two then you measure the head circumference which is 23 inches 23 divided by 2 is 11 and a and a half
Um stitch this down. So after the band, you turn to the other side to so that the part that shoot out you show this side as well. So you saw this part as well. When you're about to get to the end of the other side, you mark out two inches. I have two inches, two inches. Then you stop your sewing right on that mark that you just made. So here's this uh, space we left. Then you turn this to the right side. This is the backdrop side. So we pick our ruffle design, the 8 by 35 inches design. Then fold this into two. You fold the longer part, the 35 inches side, you fold it into two, just like this. Then you saw it's done while folding it the right side will be inward while the wrong side will be outside because we'll be turning it to the right side later After sewing this down, you turn to the right side. And this one part will be at the center. Place it at the center. And we'll go back to our, uh, our cap. Then we'll make a running stitch right under the band. From that part that shoot out, you we'll make your running stitch so the running stitch you will not extend it to the other side just from that upper part to the down part it will not extend to the other side so after making a running stitch this is what i have then you pick the ruffle design Then you gather it like this and fix it inside the two inches allowance that were left uh, the space we left you fix it in like this then while fixing it in the sewn part will be showing outside because after sewing it will turn it to the right side Fix this together and sew it from the fourth end to the last end. You can use your needle and thread to do this, and you can take this to the sewing machine to sew it down. Just make sure that the four mouth matches together. After saying it, you turn it to the right side and arrange this very well. After arranging it, this is the final look of our cup. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.